Royal Voluntary Service was established in 1938, um, so we're over 80 years old now. Um, and ha at the heart of the organisation is um, the fact that we want to inspire and enable local people to give the gift of volunteering to help meet the needs of their really diverse communities. So we were really lucky in that we had um, funding from the ASDA Foundation to run a three-year shed project. Um, and that project was all around offering some seed funding to help independent sheds get off the ground, develop support resources, so things around governance, health and safety, toolkits, draft policies and procedures that they could pick up and use. Um, and it was also around helping new sheds open, so actually giving that hand-holding, giving some expertise um, and just translating you know, legislative information into easy to understand information. Uh, so I think the Royal Voluntary Service has, has done something uh, quite unique. I think we had a lot of strengths and a lot of resources ourselves uh, and we were able to, to get, kind of get together but what the RBS has brought is a, a, a kind of a governance and um, a, an informative set of resources to help us to run sheds in a safe and well organised way. We are very reliant on our members to watch out for each other uh, but having um, some training and some guidance uh, and also having some of the input about health and safety has been particularly important for this shed. We needed that RVS input to give us that direction and we've had Steve, Steve Kilsby has been involved from the well, before we started um, and he's still here now and Abby's here from um, RVS also. Uh, they've been very helpful with not just organising us and, and helping us out with paperwork and, and the like but giving us funding or getting us funding. I think in fairness the Royal Voluntary Service started the whole thing off because as I said earlier we had a meeting at the RVS premises in Castle Street uh, and it was there that we discussed the possibility of using this building so in fairness to the RVS they started the whole thing off and they are now still supporting this particular project. Now we're really lucky in the sense that we're able to help develop sheds as part of our charity. So whereas previously we just helped develop sheds as independent organisations, now we're actually able to offer them insurance under Royal Voluntary Service. Um, they're able to come under our pre-existing policies and procedures. Um, so we're able to not only offer them that help to set up, we can offer them our framework to set up under. So it means that sheds don't have to worry about setting up governance. They don't have to worry about writing all that safe and legal stuff that sits around their activities we're doing all that for them so they can actually get on and do the really important things like crafting their woodwork metalwork and getting the activities up and running so we have a national team of community development workers who can work with individuals or groups in the community. Um, we can help sheds that are in the really early days of setting up. We can help individuals who just have a dream of setting up a shed. Or if they're sheds that are actually struggling for one reason or another that think, Oh, actually becoming a branch of Royal Voluntary Service might really help us overcome some of those barriers, then we're welcome to hear from any of those people. Um, the best way to find out about us is to go through our website. Um, there's all sorts of contact details there. And then you go through to our central team. You can direct you to the right national person for your area.